Welcome to Cologne to the Extraordinary Art Museum. It is a part of Peter Zumter's architectural portfolio and combines old remains with modern structures. Let's try to read the complicated history of the place. Within the modern walls you can see all the stages of development. First, there was a small temple here, and after 11th century, when Santa Colomba was the largest parish in medieval Cologne, it was getting bigger and bigger. At the beginning, new extensions were added to the Romanesque building, and later it was transformed into Gothic temple. The remains of Gothic exterior walls are now the base for the modern building. In the meantime, Rotary's architect Gottfried Baum designed a temple on the post-war ruins. This chapel is now hidden inside of the building, but it doesn't belong to the museum. It still serves its original purpose, and it is a remarkable example of concrete architecture of 20th century. Almost 50 years later, Zumthor won the architectural competition for Diocesan Museum and for 10 years the idea was developing until the building was finished in 2007. All that history is visible here, in a large semi-open room. As you walk around, you use the elevated footbridge, which was redesigned over and over again, taking its final form after the exterior shell of the building was finished. The footbridge enables visitors to experience different perspectives and changes the perception along the way. The museum itself has three exhibition floors and actually doesn't contain a huge exposition area. It is hard to find your way among plain walls and simple openings. You don't know if the corridor will lead you to another painting or simply to the toilet. It feels like walking around in a minimalistic maze with no directions. This is not the end. Museum has two exterior spaces, one historical and one modern. First is a gothic sacristy, which is at the end of the elevated path next to the excavation site. Small courtyard with a piece of art feels abandoned and neglected which is in total opposition to the rest of the building. Second exterior space is a calm patio filled with gravel. It complements the mood of the whole museum perfectly. But let's talk some details, shall we? In the building there are three towers that are higher than the rest of the spaces. Enormous plain walls are perfect for ever-changing artworks, while big skylights create almost sacred atmosphere. All the windows are carefully positioned to achieve diverse results. They crop the view, provide a space for contemplation in silence or observing the surroundings. Some of them are apparently just for texting. Not all the details I consider as successful. First of all, while walking around I had a great opportunity to stumble every time I was entering the next space. Seriously. Inconsistency is also bothering me. They managed to finish wall floor connection perfectly by leaving the gap instead of putting a baseboard trim, but there are some places where they simply failed. And this is the only different dark space in the museum. The darkness is so black that it is impossible to see the walls. Pretty cool and unusual for an exhibition space, I must admit. Let's go back outside and analyze one of the facades, the eastern one. Gothic remains are incorporated in the building. The only details on the plain walls are two big windows, entrance to the modern chapel and the openwork that provides the optimal air circulation in the excavation site. Exterior and some parts of the interior are covered in handmade columba bricks. They are long, slim and are meant to contrast with medieval ones and they are especially designed for the building. 
The look is so fashionable that the manufacturer started a regular production and now they are used in buildings all over the world. If you happen to be in Cologne, you should definitely visit Colomba Museum. The art exhibition is not for everyone, but building itself is interesting enough. If you want to take part in video architecture traveling, hit subscribe and see you next time. Just stay curious!